Yeah, it works. Oh, okay. But I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Yeah, because not much happens besides, you know, the the JoJo stuff and the, um, Lupin. Man, those I didn't watch, since we're not really talking about it on a consistent basis anymore, I just went back to watching the dub with your academia. Mm. What was the last thing you saw? I mean, like, when I was watching the sub, like, I, uh, it was the, like, with the Asui and, uh, Totoroki, yeah. not Totoroki. Oh, actually, no, 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 yeah, that was, it was the Totoroki going against the eraser head. That's what I saw in the, mm. in the sub last time I saw it, but in the dub, it was uh, kind of like the beginning of the exam. Yeah, all I saw was the dub episode, because I know the uh, ectoplasm fight happened, and then eraser head was the recent one, I guess. That's pretty much it. Yeah, at the rate we're going, we might as well just wait until Hero Academia is actually done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just, as soon as the Japanese is done, then we're just like, well, by that point, time will come what happened the following week, so, or Infinity Force, or one of those two shows, or maybe both. So yeah, we'll see if Academia and Lupin, and, I don't know, the, the, the soul schedule's been pretty shitty ever since we finished Tiger Mask <laughs> and Little Witch. <laughs> It's like yeah, once I, I once, think it's just because of the change of season. There yeah, no, once, once those two shows ended, I was like, you know, that's it. We can't do this podcast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> podcast is over. Yeah. So like, the main point. <laughs> it wasn't about Berserk. It wasn't about My Hero Academia. No, it was about Little Witch and Tiger Mask Double. <laughs> that's all that mattered. <laughs> that, that was a <laughs> Yeah, but now... I mean, yeah. And right now it's always regular shit, so I'm like, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out once we, once we get there. Yeah, once we get to the fall season, at least Time will come and Infinity Force will be there. Yeah, I, I just hope that most of the Infinity Force is praise and not just like, ah, fuck this shit. Yeah, <laughs> oh. and then, I keep forgetting what else, oh yeah, Inuyasha, Yashi, that'll be something. Yeah. I mean, I've been reading manga, so I, I, I know most of the shit that's going well, on. Well, I'm going blind. So see, that'll be an interesting podcast dynamic okay <laughs> I, I, I know everything and you don't know shit <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that like the intro like the the podcast intro similar to the game girls like i don't know shit and <laughs> i know everything <laughs> we're the the podcast <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on next season i know there's like, like, like one classic series that's coming back but i think it's more of a comedy than anything the oh, yeah yokai negan them yeah, then I've been like out of the loop with everything else because even with Hellgirl, I just haven't been in the mood to watch it due to like stuff happening in the house. Oh. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, I'm not in the mood for horror at the moment, Ooh. and all that, uh, and all the drama. Well, then again, I don't know if the drama is gonna be super realistic compared to the because uh, the show is almost done. I think it needs one more week, and then all twelve episodes will be finished. I only saw five of them. So far, yeah, it's just been okay. End, yeah. yeah, so it. yeah, so far, Hero Girls has just been okay. Nothing very. I don't know unless those episodes have something that makes it great, or hey, we saved our animation for these last few episodes or something. But I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Hoseki no Kuni. That one's also getting a. It's a CG anime. Wait, which which is that one again? The one with like the gem people. Ah. It's gonna be in CG. That's next season as well. Mm. And we just gotta wait for stuff to pop up. I don't know, the thing I'm actually looking forward to the most is that, uh, Garo one. The thing is, I didn't even know it was Garo, I just saw it, it was just called Vanishing Light. Like, it had no connection to Garo when it came out. And then just like, two weeks ago, it was like, <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, it's gonna be a Garo anime. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Pull that from under me. But that just shows it has like no relation to anything else. But I, I guess that's just the way the Garo anime is. <laughs> like none of them just connect with each other. It's just the different things with like I guess the concept of the yeah. transforming hero. Continuity? Hero. What's that? <laughs> yeah. I mean that, that's basically Tokusatsu as a whole. Like the only one that tries is Ultraman. And once again it's this other podcast or maybe people on the main channel thinking so Hero wins the next 
when's your next video that's not a podcast? Because that's all you've been uploading this month. <laughs> Podcast, podcast channel. <laughs> the podcast hero. I don't know. Podcast hero. I don't know, but no, it's because the, the stuff that I'm working on takes longer than this. Because the um, because I'm working on the Kaneko Man stuff, and I don't even. I finished one, which I'll release like in about an hour or two. Or by the time we finish recording, because because oh, because nice. I, I fucked up in the order. Because originally, like, um, I'm, I'm just gonna spoil the name of the character because. I'm pretty oh. sure. Well, by the time I, this podcast, before this podcast is even uploaded, that video will be out. Because originally I was doing a Ramen Man video and it was going to be number five, but then I had to change my mind to make him number three. Oh. And since I completed that first, that would also mean that three and four, which I should have been working on, are gonna gonna come out weird. So basically, I'm gonna upload a video that's like in the future, and then I need to work something that's supposed to be ahead. Or behind, whatever, so... Yeah, because if I'm going down from a list, I have 10 through 6, and then it's just going to jump straight to 3, instead of going to 5 or 4. So I'm working on 5, and I don't even know I'll finish it by the weekend. I kind of doubt it. and I feel like that will probably be done by the Friday, and it's going to be weird because I have 3 and 5, but no number 4. And I don't even know, like, should I just keep working until I finish 4 and then just upload it whenever? Or do I actually hold it off until December? Depending what happens with me. Because even then I'm thinking, well, I still need two more characters even by that point. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it was just, like, annoying. And it's by this point I'm kind of realizing, shit. It's like, Pan Pizza, why are you spraying me your, <laughs> your down... Your, your, I don't know, your fucking attitude to me, god damn it. Just because we both live in Texas, come on. Come on. What well, speak, happened, man? Oh yeah, speaking of yeah. Pan, and before we keep going, we should just introduce ourselves, otherwise it's gonna be another yeah. podcast where we just introduce ourselves like 30 minutes in. So I'm the well, anime hero, and here's my friend. Yeah, Mr. Falcon Punch. Yeah, so anyways, we're going to talk about Pan Pizza, you know, one of my favorite cartoon reviewers, the only cartoon reviewer I watch, so that automatically makes him my favorite. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm subscribed to a couple others, but Pan's my favorite still. So. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I remember the, because I was so fucking surprised how fast he uploaded that uh, Powerpuff Girls video, because... Usually it uploads on Tuesday, but it was still Monday, well, technically it was Tuesday morning or late Monday night, depending on what zone you call it. So it was super early. Yeah, then it was Tuesday morning. Yeah, it was super yeah. early. It was like, you know, this is like 10 hours ahead of the time you usually upload, but whatever. So also in the description, he mentioned he was having like some heart problems. Yeah, that, that was like really concerning because I thought it was stress or something, but then he was actually getting like... I mean, I guess that's probably like related to stress. Like, I didn't know it was like that fucking severe. Yeah. Well, then again, I mean, a couple of months back, I had <laughs> I had my own problem with my arm, thinking that I might have to get it amputated out of. <laughs> but thankfully, that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, that would have been very extreme. It's oh, like no. the most extreme scenario. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was having that phobia. I actually the medication is right next to me, right, right there. It's a, it's a tube in a cardboard box. It actually has like a, it's a gel. It's a, it's a lubricant, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's for your arm. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is though, when, when I had the medication, I was I completely forgot about it. I was just taking the pills, and I was supposed to put that on my arm also, but I, I just forgot. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm supposed to throw this away or I don't know. But yeah, that was a dreadful thing. And then also some stuff happened to me like a couple of weeks ago, which was a, you know, real, real family moment that was kind of like sad. That That's something I'll probably spill like around the end of the year just to when I'm reviewing my life thus far <laughs> compared to the previous year of YouTube, because that's something I should have kept doing, but I didn't. Just comparing, like, how where do I stand this year compared to the previous? Where am I now? Yeah. There's just stuff that I gotta do in my life. Because I'm almost turning... Like, I'm not that far away from becoming a 30-year-old man. I'm 26. I got four years left. <laughs> yeah, next year, I'm gonna be 
next week I'll be 21. Yay. Bring back the meme. <laughs> Wait, what meme? I, I don't know this. <laughs> the, 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 the 9 plus 10 meme is like the kid like, oh, I'm 21. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't get that. <laughs> it, yeah, it was a really stupid thing, but I remember my brother was really into it. It was like all over the internet for a while, and then supposedly the kid ran away from his house because people were making fun of him, and then, yeah. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> well, that was dark. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, supposedly, I'm not sure if it was just an online rumor or if it actually happened, and if it did happen, I'm not sure how. Mm. Like one of those things where becoming a living meme is not a, it's not a good idea. Mm. Don't do it. Yeah, so anyways, people should be nice when it comes to internet and social interactions. Uh, yeah, it's the question yeah. everyone. Well, taking it back to Hellgirl a bit, uh, and, uh, and I should talk about the pan pizza when I remember. Well, the thing is with Hellgirl, like, the only newest thing that's ever happened so far is that the very first episode introduces that Hellgirl now has an app. Oh. Yeah, because they always thought update. <laughs> yeah, she does. I mean, back then in the... They've hinted in the original series, on the second series, or I forgot which one, that they would use, like, more primitive methods of communication. Before it was, like... Uh, going to like a temple and leaving a letter there or something and at one point there was a newspaper article I had to call this pl- <laughs> to call this number and then it was the internet and now it's like yeah now we use your phones your smartphones and call send someone to hell <laughs> via phone call or you know just download <laughs> I'm just waiting for the hell girl advertisement just download the app and I can banish this guy to hell <laughs> call now <laughs> Might cause controversy. Someone's actually gonna make the app, and then people are gonna be all freaked out about it. I'm kind of one. I think they, there was a real site, but it was just like you know the official fan website, or I don't know whether it was official or fan, but I know there was a website at one point that would activate during the uh, midnight, like oh. the show. But I, I don't know if that led to anything. Well, here's the thing: Death Note caused so much controversy, but not Hell Girl. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. You know, maybe it might be like Death Note. Well, they're pretty similar also. Well, then again, like, there's actually another Shonen series that also has the same plot as Death Note, where a demon comes by a, a very smart kid's house and drops a book. I'm actually trying to think about this. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very kind of obscure Shonen, I guess. Not many people talk about it. I don't well, think I've... It's a 2000s Shonen. It, it did come out in English for a, for a bit. Oh, where does that go? Like, yeah, that's like, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's the same plot. <laughs> oh, <that's okay. laughs> yes. It is the same well, plot. You was going around like, okay, we have to go like fight the other shit you got me. <laughs> yeah, give me some, like, you like apples? No, I like Yellowtail. <laughs> See, it, it works. It all comes together. And this should do the crossover. Magic oh. spells that cause people to die. And heart attacks. But anyways, going back to the whole Pan Pizza Powerpuff Girls thing... That was kind of like uh, I, I felt like that reviewing style reminded me. Okay, the thing is when he when he was showing up with the mask, for some reason that guy reminded of Kilps. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because that's what he used to do when he made YouTube videos. He would you know, go on a uh, incognito with his uh, Halo mask, Master Chief. Yeah, but the Power Girls Pop Up Girls episode, yeah, it's like, yeah. So what's the buzz? Do people really hate it? <laughs> Just called Pop Up Girls 2016. Yeah, and again, I'm really getting sick and tired. Like, I think they said in the video, but I'm like really sick and tired of that shit too, where it's just like they don't have a. a subtitle. Yeah, like at least give me something. Yeah, I mean, like you got Batman the Brave and the Bold, Batman Beware the Batman, Batman Beyond, The Batman. <laughs> 
Well, maybe yeah, that was the laziest. Yeah, recent trend with cartoons, because, like, DuckTales is just called DuckTales, the new one, which I heard is really good. And then there's a new Spider-Man cartoon, <laughs> but it's just called Spider-Man. Not Spectacular Spider-Man, not Spider-Man the Animated Series, it's just called Spider-Man. You know, I thought, um, I, I, maybe that should be the, the title, so it's like, DuckTales, the new one, it's just called Spider-Man. <laughs> Yeah, just go with that. Figure shit out. Well, then again, even with Joe Bizarre Adventure, they don't even... What I, what I hate about the JoJo titles is that they don't number them. Like, at least in the anime, they don't. Oh. Yeah, even though they have Phantom Blood... Uh, well, actually, no, the first series don't have the subtitles Phantom Blood or Battle Tendency, but, you know, yeah, the other ones... Jojo. Yeah, the other ones, Stardust Crusaders and Diamonds Unbreakable, it's like, can you at least number them? I mean, come on, it's, it's just gonna take one space, or... Five space, six spaces if you include parts. I know, I guess they figured so many people already know. So. I don't know, I think it would help. But I think, you know, just a whole part, you know, space, then the number. There you go. Cyrus Crusaders Part 3, or maybe they screwed up because of 2012 with that. Joe Bizarre Adventure, 2012, parentheses. And it was like, just so you people won't get confused with Joe Bizarre Adventure 1993 and Joe Bizarre Adventure 2000. And Joe Bizarre Adventure The Phantom Blood. 2007 or 2006, I forgot the year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of, well, I guess we'll just transition to JoJo for a little bit. I I really hate that I missed the uh the whole Captain Dragon, you know, the Creature from Black Lagoon stand episode when it premiered on TV because I am curious oh. if on TV did he actually say shit uncensored. Don't, Don't be disrespectful to the captain. You're the one at fault. <laughs> his rules don't mean shit. I'll be as rude as I want. Without a beat, you know, because uh, the actual dub does say shit like time. And I'm kind of wondering, wait, 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 can we actually start saying, you know, shit and fuck on late night television without you getting a beep? <laughs> That's what I was curious about, but I don't know since I missed the premiere. Oh, because like, some series say it, but then like either like sometimes it's beeped and other times it's not, and I'm not sure if it's just because they have to have a certain amount of. I don't know. I really the whole sensor. Yeah, I don't know because I remember like way back when Durara aired the first one aired on Adult Swim, they were beeping the fuck out of it. But it, I remember that time I found it funny. But if I were to watch the show again, I don't know if I would find it funny. Well, then again, I don't think any uh, format has the. Uh, Television airing versions, everyone just has the uh, home video releases. Yeah. So I don't know, I guess that's a lost dub in a way. <laughs> oh, I have like censoring, I don't know. Whatever, like really people go out there to watch the censored dub. <laughs> yeah. Well, then again, like uh, the only censored versions that I know for sure that I kind of preserve will be the uh, the older Dragon Ball Z because of the those older VHS and DVD releases. You know, you got the Edited broadcast and they oh you got the uncut edition. <laughs> no. Yeah, because there was that back in those the days. Just, I don't know if it's releases. It's too many. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, yeah, and then uh, Naruto also had that thing too with the original series. No way. Yeah, there was edited DVDs with you know four DVD four episodes of disc, and then there will be the, you know the uncut box set which has fifteen episodes. In three discs, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, hopefully ranging between like 12 and 13. Because right now, One Piece Funimation is only like around 11 <laughs> estimate per box. But I'm like, no. What happens in those good old days when you had like at least 13 minimum? <laughs> we don't get that anymore. This is Media Break. You give us three minutes and we'll give you... <laughs> I only see three... What happened? Because I don't, I don't remember anything. Uh, let me try putting them in somewhat order of relevance, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. So first off is the Dragon Ball Fighter games adding an original character being Android 21. Oh yeah, that was her. Yeah, she, she's an android. Because I saw Android 21, I'm like, is this something going on in Super? And it's like Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm like, like oh, no, okay. not Super. But, uh, I guess I'll kind of repeat a joke that I, <laughs> I hate that this wasn't recorded because I, um, a few days ago, I was able to talk to both Merlin and Walking 00 Dan after 
I don't know how many years we were talking Dragon oh, well. Ball. Yeah, after we were talking Dragon Ball, and then um, the recorder stopped pretty quickly when we got to this top when Dad showed up, unfortunately. So he showed up. We started talking a little bit of Dragon Ball because you know that always happens, and then we bring up Andrew Twenty One. And then we're kind of bullshitting, saying, like, so wait, where, where does she come from? Does she become, like, underneath the lab next to, you know, Cell and, and the and the other androids? And I said, no, Merlin, obviously there's another lab underneath that lab and another lab beneath that one, and that's where she is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, 21 is, like, a random number, though. Like, Well, there's because Yeah, because Dr. Chiro is Android 20. So that's the reason where 21 comes from, but I don't think the other androids have ever been really confirmed, because even the original Dragon Ball has just been 8-er, which is Android 8, and I don't, I don't know if there was mentions of 1 through 7 and 9 through um, 12, <laughs> because we got 13, 14, 15 in that movie. Yeah, no man, these androids. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, continuity. What is it in Dragon Ball? I don't know. I mean, at least it's for the games. The game will have like the story mode, so I, I guess that's cool. Yeah. So what's the other news? Um, New York Comic Con lists Batman Ninja anime film by Kill la Kill writer Kazuki Nakashima. Holy shit! I totally missed that one. <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, um, let me see. Um. The creator of the Afro Samurai manga is also going to be the character designer for the film. Ooh, he hasn't done anything in forever. <laughs> I want to say I heard he was doing something else a while back, but I forgot. Yeah, I forgot I too, because I, I know I heard his name. He was also a character designer too. Yeah, I know I heard um, his name somewhere pretty recently, but now because I still can't help but remember when in one of the bonus features of Afro Samurai, he mentions that, oh, the anime only covered and the manga only covered like this little bunch, and then he raises his arms to the side saying, like, but the whole story is this long. I'm like, you haven't done shit in years. <laughs> uh, so, in yeah, you'll he, he, be here and, or there, and the event comes out October 5th. So that's when uh, I guess we'll hear more about this film that's listed as Batman Ninja. Which I'm really wondering by the name. Is it actually related to Batman or is it just like, like a code name for it? Yeah, like, you know, Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Ninja Batman. Yeah. Mm, what else but do we have? It's definitely something to look forward to October 5th. Yep, and then we got the... Uh, Naoki Urasawa is coming out with a new manga, which will also come out in October, so a lot of this news is just for October. Um, it doesn't really specify what it's going to be about, but he's just going to be coming out with something. Oh yeah, is that the article that starts off with, 20th Century Boys Creator? Yeah, I, yeah. So, You see, like, I hate when they word shit like that, because you're, they're, it makes you assume that it's going to be something related to 20th Century Boys, which, in a way it is because of the author, but... Not in what he's gonna work on. I mean, it just says 20th Century Boys, Monsters, now or Solid. It's like listing off. It's like, you know. Yeah, but the profile image is just 20th it. Century Boys. I'm thinking, couldn't you just put, like, fucking now or Solid? Like, people know who he is. People people that, you know, dive into the world of manga and anime, they they, they really know their stuff. They know who he is. Like, come on. Come and it's on. funny also, then when you click on the tell her quotes, it's really bad. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has a, a picture of. Him. Out there, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's doing interviews with other manga cause recently, and then, I mean, freaking monster. His name is in it. Naoki Urusawa's monster. Gosh. <laughs> Holy shit. And then the last piece of news, and like this is like a piece of news that's been like repeated over and over again, with just different people connected to it. Thor Ragnarok's Akia Watiti is in talks to direct live-action Akira, which is, like, it seems like every year they, they talk to another director to do this live-action Akira, and they're all, like, just like, no. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, you know, they got previous people, like Justin Lin and George Miller, and then I think that guy who didn't get out, I forgot his name, and we're also asking him. But, um, yeah. Well, 
Until the live action Akira ever happened, the world may never know. And I have still not seen the original Akira. Okay, I found out what else uh, Okozaki Takashi has done. Oh, okay. He's also a character designer for Summer Wars, for Oz specifically. Oh! And he's apparently also working on The Vanishing Line. That's why I heard. Yeah, okay. That, I think I heard, saw his name somewhere recently. That, that explains it. Yeah, so he's going to do the Garo stuff and also apparently did the character designs for certain X-Men characters of the anime. Oh. Yeah, it says human, armor, Takeo, but who knows who they are. Because <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, so, okay, so what his name got mentioned recently? <laughs> okay, we talked about him, but now I already forgot. Oh yeah, it was a Ninja Batman, there we go. Yeah, Ninja Batman. Well, that, that's just like the name for it. That says what it's listed as, but it's not like the actual... I don't know if that's the actual name. I'll, I think I'd be more interested. Yeah. It turns out to be an adaptation for Ninja Baseball Batman. <laughs> Ninja Baseball Batman. Well, earlier this week, you, you watched the Speed Racer live action, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. We could talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw the movie, and I was impressed. Yeah, so, like, how was it when compared to, like, was it a good live action? Yeah, it, ex- it improved on so much. It gave it a narrative. So that's what I really appreciate, because, um, well, well you've seen the movie, right? Yeah, I've seen it twice when I was younger. Like when it first came out. The movie begins with... Well, they added a little bit more to Speed's, like, uh, youth with his brother. So that's something that I really appreciate because the anime, it just starts off... They don't even mention the brother character until two episodes later, like in episode three. Oh. And that's also when the mass racer shows up. So it, it's it's obvious as fuck. They, they don't really try to hide it. Well, then again, anyone who's watched the show, they can tell it's a pretty obvious... Uh, <laughs> it's just as obvious as like the whole red impulse from Gotcha Man, with the honesty. But but I really appreciate that they showed it from a young perspective, or when the when the family's still close, and how it gradually uh, shifts back and forth between present day and past for its introduction. How uh, they show like what Speed is doing, how he became the racer he is, and because of his brother, and then what happened to him, and then it kind of went like in this very emotional route that the uh, anime doesn't go that far in. And then I also love that they didn't make it really obvious that Racer X was actually his brother. Because even when he takes off the mask to show him, like, towards the end of the movie, it's not him. And then by the end of the film, you find out, oh, it actually was him. He just did surgery on his face. And the, the way it ends, it ends more on a bittersweet note for, for that character as, as well, which the anime had that same conclusion too, which it works. And I also appreciate that they took the mafia elements of the... Of, of the series into like in a more direct confrontation with Speed where this guy wants to buy him out and then he refuses and then he just wants to like pretty much destroy him. So there's a lot of twists and turns in, in, in that film that I really appreciate that it improved on the original storyline. because Especially when it came to the family scenes because um, when Pops is uh, against like Speed doing something and then when everyone's trying to keep things together and then the arguments also as well, how Speed is slowly becoming his brother. My only problem with the film is that there are some scenes where Speed doesn't really feel like the character. Because no. <laughs> I like his story, like uh, what's he fighting against? Because uh, he's trying to work with the inspector detector, this other guy, to to protect his family, to, to fight against this corporate evil businessman who has some mafia ties. But I just don't like the way he acts, because in the beginning of the movie, before the story really kicks in, for like, uh, well, the dang- before the danger kicks in, he's just going like, he's not really surprised by anything. When everyone shows him something, he's just like, oh, like, oh, I'm like, no, you gotta go like, oh, <laughs> or something like that, you know, a little more, because I was expecting him like to like lose his nerve at some point and you know kick someone's ass. But I really appreciate that towards the end where he's racing this other guy. He says, get that shit out of here. <laughs> like, holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, because I was kind of surprised with the, some of the swearing and like, um, it's like, what, what rating is this movie? <laughs> I need to check that. Cause they, yeah, they were, I think it was PG. Yeah, because they were like, swearing a couple of times. <laughs> and it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was like they a little... Always, you're watching like, a PG movie and like they just start cursing. It's like, oh wait, can you, can you actually do that? Like, 
we use profanity the right way, or I don't know, maybe it's because it was Warner Brothers. Oh yeah, at the end of the movie, the um, well, there's a few scenes where they play um, instrumental variations of the uh, theme song. So hey, at least the anim- the very first scene opens with you know the instrumental of the song, unlike other things. And by the end of it, they make like this really cool remix of the um, of the Speed Racer opening. It's mixed with several languages actually. There's like a they mix it. It starts off with the Japanese, and then it goes into this like remix version of the English version, and then it segues into I forgot. I know I don't know what language this because I know it's not Japanese, but it's somewhere it's something else. And then it just cuts to Spanish, and it oh. goes to sort of like this reggaeton or <laughs> reggaeton style. And then at the very end, it goes back to the English and Japanese, and it kind of goes back and forth. Also, the um, if, if you keep watching the credits long enough, well, the music actually turns to the credits of the uh, of the anime. Oh. So there was stuff like that that are like, holy shit, you're throwing nods everywhere. Because even one of the racetracks, they reference the anime opening for a brief, like a brief 10 seconds or something. I was like, oh, that's from the opening. <laughs> Well, the Japanese opening, <laughs> in fact, there was a lot of stuff there that I just like about it because it definitely because the criminals kind of seem like Dick Tracy-ish from the movie Dick Tracy, like that type of style, and I kind of like the that and the art direction in the movie is like pretty pretty crazy. There were some times where it was kind of hard to look at everything, <laughs> but yeah, the characters were very accurate to their source material. The only one I feel I had a problem with was Speed because. Everyone else was perfect. They even um, made his girlfriend Trixie a bit more, a bit more assertive, and they actually g- gave her something to do. Because most of the time she's just a helicopter, and uh, well, fighting the helicopter. But this, and there's one scene where she's actually driving a car. And I'm like, oh shit, yeah, they're giving her, they're making her do something. <laughs> yeah, they're making her do something. Because the, the, there was a few anime scenes where they were fighting gotcha men styled. Because <laughs> I, I, you know you see him a lot of karate chops jumping in the air, punching people. And I, I pretty appreciate that the movie had this one fight scene that had that. <laughs> so it was very... I don't know, the Wachowski brothers really really put a lot of care into this thing. So I'm just kind of sad that, wow, no, everyone just watches this movie. And then people that find it like like it's too goofy or outrageous. Like, you've never seen the actual anime then. You didn't see all the way. You, you think it's just about race? The races themselves too. You, you know what these races were? It was like, you know, Sega all starts racing Transform plus Mario Kart. <laughs> that's what speed okay. racer game needs there needs to be a speed racer game in that style because one thing that really surprised me is that they were using the um the auto jack which is you know where the jumps with the car with the you know inspector gadget yeah. style and i was kind of surprised how everyone all the racers had that so because there was only a few cars within the series that have something like rigged into them like some of the cars are special. Yeah. Like there was one episode that had this acrobatic team, which they could do acrobats with their cars, and it's very <laughs> impossible things to do. They would do like three sixty degrees, like <laughs> spinning in midair type of shit. <laughs> because and there was another one called the mammoth car, which is like that was not a fucking car. That was a train. <laughs> that was a fucking train. No matter how you look at it, that that was not fair. It's like any car is allowed to race, and then it's bring this shit. It's like ah. Ah, no, we gotta make a special rule for you. You're on the ban list. <laughs> so, in the actual movie, uh, everyone, anyone that was cheating or part of the whole mafia group, had their cars rigged with weapons and other and other souped up tricks. So it was pretty impressive to see all these cars like actually using different fighting styles or tools to pretty much kill each other. Right. Yeah. So I was just having a blast thinking, holy shit, they actually thought of a good reason. For having all these things, but the only th- problem I had with that is that that in, in the original series, Pops was the one that created all the other weapons. Because in the sixties, like uh, the son was the other son, Rex. He wasn't in an accident or anything. He just ran away because he didn't get along with his dad, so he just ran off somewhere and never seen seen him since. I really like in the movie they make it seem like it was an accident and no one knows like what the fuck happened. So they buried him and, and all that shit, and they find out way later, well, that it's sort of like this whole conspiracy. And I just like how Speed finds that out about his brother, that the reason why it happens is because he was murdered and because they were he was trying to expose some bad people. So uh, there was a lot of stuff in there, and then I, I just wish there was a little more mafia scenes. Because uh, the introduction to them were they're torturing this guy, and they're going to like uh, feed him to piranhas, and it was just like, you know... That was perfect. That was so like old school, old old school gangster thing. 
very classy stuff because they were mentioning the whole seven shoes and all that. I was like, yeah, keep it in that way. And then I just love how they pop out all their guns from like these hidden compartments and just the fact that there was a room that was in back of a trader during the highway and then Racer X was just like this cool motherfucker. <laughs> just like, yeah. So I, I don't know. That was like the best live action anime I've seen. Even better than Ricky O Falcon. Better than Ricky O. <laughs> and you know how. <laughs> seen that it's it's all right like it's pretty cool it's definitely better than the first movie <laughs> because the first movie was kind of goofy think uh well, i guess the best way to put it it's like guyver 2 was ninja turtles 2 and then guyver oh wait, wait. guyver 1 was ninja turtles 2 guyver 2 was ninja turtles 1 oh, okay. <laughs> in that terms of tone because uh the second movie was more like more violent the first one was super goofy with certain scenes the second one was like um well, technically, none of them really follow the manga. They they just like take some ideas from it, but they still get a pretty good job with what they did with an original story and uh, original characters. Yeah, because I know a lot of people are complaining <laughs> due to the whole you know Ghost in the Shell and other plans and the Death Note movie. So I'm like, oh, Mark, they can't do anime live actions right. And I'm like, there you go, case in point. You got one. Yeah. We got one. Yeah, and it was American. I like you know Ricky O. That was Chinese. <laughs> Yeah, so speed. I need to, that's that's all gonna change whenever I start talking reviewing the Speed Racer anime and then review the movie, because that movie. Oh yeah, that movie is so far is the only thing that truly captured the spirit of the original. Oh wow. Yeah, because it wasn't the '90s series, it wasn't the '90s cartoon, it wasn't the 2000s MTV series, it wasn't that other CGI film that looks pretty. Sh- no, that other movie that looks pretty shitty, <laughs> animated film. But this movie from 2008, made by the Wachowski brothers, like, they know what they're doing. <laughs> and the problem is, nobody cared. Yeah, no, it's like the, the shittiest thing about it. Because I remember, like, the, the, like, in my anime club, we had this WhatsApp group, and they're just kind of, like, bitching about anime live action. Like, oh, none of them were even good in the first place. And I'm like, I can actually name a decent hand, not just the American, but just overall good anime live action. Yeah, like, and Hentai like, Comments, another good one. Both yeah, of I, mean, them. I, I still have to see that one myself, and then I think probably like, the one that's like looked at as one of the best movies, but I still haven't seen it for myself. But it's technically a manga adaptation. Is Old Boy? Yeah, there's so, that and Roni Kenshin, which we gotta check because yeah. because we see our share of shitty ones, like uh, Lupin the Third, yeah. the second one. We still haven't seen the first one. <laughs> yeah, I'll be surprised if the first one, despite not looking like Lupin, that might be maybe it's better. <laughs> Oh yeah, I haven't tried finding them, but a lot of people say they weren't that good either. Oh. But yeah, they so say that they. It like, really looks yeah. like those could have been actual Japanese James Bond movies. Yeah. <laughs> could have its own. Well, then again, there is a live action series, you know, Lone Wolf and Cub. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's something we haven't explored, or I don't even know what we can yeah, find. That, that's an actual cult classic. Yeah, because I know it was released. I know it was released over here, but I don't know if it's still like available or out of print. Yeah, I'm right. I tried looking up Lady Snowblood online. I couldn't really find it. I could only find like DVDs for it. I'm like, oh. Mm. Yeah, because I, I don't know whether Kill Bill should count as an anime film or should it. <laughs> I mean, given well, it's an anime scene, it was heavily inspired by a uh, manga adaptation. Yeah, so, well, yeah, you know, I'll count it. Like, when, if I ever make a top ten list, I'll put it in there just because it's like, because, because, because. <laughs> because, man. Yeah, <laughs> Lady Snowblood, don't you know? Like, even Kill Bill is, like, reminiscent of the cover because Lady Snowblood's manga cover is actually yellow and black. Yeah, and then 
the whole, you know, final fight scene in the snow. Like, I think even the theme song plays in there, too, so, like... There yeah, it does. Yeah, so... Like, there you go. It's an anime movie what starring now? an American. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about Pacific Rim? Because I haven't seen that. Um... Or it's I not my... Half of it. I, I really yeah. need to go back and actually watch the whole thing. It's very clear that the director himself is a fan of anime. Oh, you know what's a, you know what's another one that I'm throwing in there just for the shits and giggles. What? Godzilla Final Wars. Oh. I mean, that's yeah. the most anime-ish Godzilla's gotten, <laughs> except for yeah. the Godzilla anime that's supposed to come out later. But I mean, yeah, think about it. You got these aliens and you got these people fighting everywhere, and then you got this one American general that's a swordsman <laughs> that's speaking in English compared to everybody yeah. else. <laughs> and then they played the song by Sum Forty One. We're all to blame while they're killing Zilla. <laughs> Yeah, because why not? <laughs> well, then again, I guess the BS would be also saying, you know, the you know all the Tokusatsu series in general. Yeah, that's all live action anime. Especially *Kamen Rider Force*. <laughs> that one's like anime as fuck. I mean, it, I mean, you know, it's anime as fuck, but it just takes place in a high school. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only *Kamen Rider* series that actually legit takes place in the high school. Oh man. And like the main character is like, I'm gonna be friends with everyone. <laughs> that is my goal. I'm like, yes, you, you tell him. <laughs> he has like a pompadour and everything. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say like, especially in terms of like American uh, adaptations, that it's easily the best. Again, it's it's just kind of sad that like people don't want to acknowledge it as that. And then like you get people like, oh, wasn't like wasn't a good uh, adaptation. I'm like, I don't. Like you said, like, I don't think they properly watched it. No, have you seen Speed Racer? Do you remember the time where Speed, where Speed dive into the ocean and killed a shark with a knife? Do you remember the time actually, where he... <laughs> where... Yeah, my mom actually used to watch the original. She had some memories. Like, she she watched random episodes when she was younger. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's why she, get, like, when she rented the movie from Blockbuster, you know, for that far back. Um, she's like, oh, yeah, this is a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Well, then again, I don't know if anyone from back then really has seen the series in its entirety. Yeah, very partial random episodes. Yeah, because the other stuff I was going to say, do you remember the time where Speed fell into a forest filled with giant gorillas? Or the time he killed a, a spider with a spear? Or the time where he wrestled a king cobra with his bare hands and Trixie shot it with a gun? Or the time that he, he almost got killed by a bunch of mafia and criminal gangsters in a hotel? The other time where he beat up some guy just because he didn't like him when they were fighting in a bar. <laughs> the one time where <laughs> where he <laughs> where he raced against a car that had a that had a brain. The other time <laughs> where Speed took drugs to drive this other car that wasn't his own car because he just liked that car better and abandoned his own family car because of that. <laughs> Or the time they got stranded, and they got in a plane crash, and they got stranded on this abandoned island. So speed, and a couple other people had to use their car and fill it up with balloons, and they had to travel across the sky, hoping they didn't die to their death. <laughs> Shit like that. <laughs> or the time there was this eccentric thief that had like this weird, goof, weird, creepy mask that would take Speed hostage and set a bomb on him, where he could steal artwork. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so there's some crazy shit in Speed Racer with, with Speed Racer there's a couple of possibilities for videos I could do with just like like the top 10 villains the top 10 episodes and the most ridiculous shit that's ever happened in the show <laughs> but then again I guess I could say the same for all the other Tatanoko stuff I mean with Hurricane Paul and <laughs> like, yeah, I know. The one time Hurricane Polymer fought a fought a furry, <laughs> or fought some guys in turtle suits, or those bird men, which I'm pretty sure those weren't costumes. <laughs> I know, especially like, they're, like yeah, they're like calling themselves Trojans or something. I'm like, so like, are they actually mutants? Or like, <laughs> then you see them unmasked. I'm like, no, stop! Like, this is not Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, well, it could be Scooby Doo. <laughs> Yeah, and a, an occasional, you know, topless scenes sometimes. Oh yeah. By Ted. Always something weird. I'm like, 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 I thought this was a kid show. Like, you're allowed to do this. I'm gonna get a party where practically kids are doing 
still do. Yeah, well, well know. they don't show stuff like that anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Japanese kids were hardcore back then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were hardcore. It's like, oh shit, we get to watch Devil Man one one day and we can watch Gotcha Man the other. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, so speaking yeah, of Devil Man. Yeah, so like, how, how's your experience with Devil Man? <laughs> Well, because you've been watching the 1972 anime recently, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen uh, an episode for a while. Like, the last one I saw, it was, um... What was it with? It was, like, this little fire demon girl. Uh, it was, like, an all right episode. I mean, like, the ones I was talking about on Twitter, those were probably, like, the more memorable ones, and, like, the ones after that were, like, you know, so-so. But, like, that's the problem with those, like, Older superhero series, like they're just like so episodic and like kind of follow that same basic structure. Like not every episode is going to be like a hit. Yeah. So you'll you'll get like a string of episodes that are just kind of like yeah, yeah, something. But I haven't seen too much of it because I've been busy like prepping up for what the fuck over. And <laughs> the other day I saw what many people regard as like one of the worst animes of all time, and uh, it, it only took twenty minutes of my time. Saw the whole thing because it was a bunch of shorts, mm-hmm. and I'm not even joking. I literally had a, a headache when I finished it. Oh, uh, well, what's this show? Like, it, it was called the uh, Abu Nai Sisters. It's like this really weird CG short series, but like it's so ugly. The voice acting so bad, and just everything about it is so bad. Like my eyes were actually hurting, and my ears were hurting. I just got a headache for like a good hour after completing. I'm like, I'm not even joking. Like I'm legit being serious, I'm not just saying it to, like, sound funny, I actually had a headache before I finished it. Oh, yeah, I, I know, like, I know what you're talking about now, because, yeah, because yeah, I remember seeing, like, that picture flying around a bit, and the first thing that came to mind is, like, wow, those are nice lips, <laughs> but after that, it's like, yeah. I wonder if this, yeah. like, was it naughty or anything, or was it just shitty? See, that's, that's the thing, that's the thing, it, it tries to be sexy, but, it's, like, really grotesque, and, oh. like, the girl's boobs just jiggle non-stop, and they're, like, <laughs> in, like, you've seen the picture, right? Yeah. Like, they don't even look sexy, they just look like E.T. that just <laughs> put balloons on its, like, fucking chest. And then, uh, on top of that, like, the series tries being sexy, it always teases you, like, they're going to go to the beach, and they're just like, oh, one of them wants to put on the sexy bikini, and the other one's like, no, no, we're celebrities, real celebrities, women in their birthday suits. But, like, something always happens, and then they never really go to the beach. But the bullshit is, this one, I was like, oh my god, are you fucking serious? This, this series cannot even do this fucking right. <laughs> There's this one episode where this, uh, one of the sisters is calling a bath boy, which is basically, like, a, a bunch of hot guys they call to, uh, come bathe with them. Some shit like that, I don't know. So she calls mm-hmm. one dude up. And she's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go to the shower real quick and freshen up for you. And, like, you know, she has, like, a giant kind of, like, um, you can only see her so wet in the shower, basically. Yeah. And you see her, like, you see the arms motioning to take off the clothes, but as she's, like, you know, washing herself in the shower and everything, her clothes are, did not come off. You could clearly see her dress in the shadow still. Mm. So she's basically showering with her clothes on. <laughs> But then the bath boy guy comes in who's like actually the villain who wants to steal something from him. He comes next to the door and she comes out and, she, and she's like covering herself but you kind of still see the dress. It's like, she's like, hold on, I need to get dressed first. I'm like, you're, you're already clothed. What do, you, what do you have to dress? I'm like, the series can't even do that right. You can't do an animation of them taking off their clothes. I'm like, oh. Something tells me their budget was like very low that they couldn't uh, well, process see, that like, right. The weirdest thing, the thing that always, like, surprises people is that it's a CG series, but it was produced by Production IG. Oh. <laughs> and, like, you know, everyone knows them for being, like, pretty high quality with their shit. But I found out the character animation was actually by Gimba. By who? Gimba, you know, the good old people that bought us Berserk. Oh. So, I mean, at least with Berserk, I'm glad to see they've improved somewhat with <laughs> CG <laughs> Mm-hmm. But like the, the voice 
voice acting so bad, like it almost sounds robotic at times. I'm like, did you actually hire real people to do some of these lines? And like, basically the plot is that there's these two sisters, they're celebrities, and they, and they constantly say that, like, oh, we're celebrities, so we could do this, so we could do that, because we're celebrities. But like, they have this, they're in possession of this stone of youth. That you could have just called it the Stone of Youth, but because of the nature of the series, it's called the Booby Stone. Mm -hmm. And they have to protect it from this old lady and this fucking weirdo who want to steal it from them. That's pretty much the plot. And they get into these really weird antics, and every time trouble happens next to the sisters, or boobs just jiggle. They're like, oh, it's the Abu Nai alarm. Oh my god. I wonder how it would be if yeah. Bona Guy made this thing. <laughs> yeah, at certain points it does feel like it, because not only do their boobs jiggle when, like, there's danger nearby, but, like, they can also blow up their boobs for, like, emergency airbags. <laughs> and they fight with their boobs, too. So I'm like, uh, yeah, you know what? Bona Guy probably would do something like that. But I would be entertained and it wouldn't look as disgusting. <laughs> that is the problem. Go to, yeah, at least Bona Guy can make it tolerable. <laughs> I wouldn't have a headache. <laughs> and at least the characters would look attractive. Whether or not they're of age, that depends on him. I'm, but, you know. Yeah. But yeah, that was Hub Nice Sisters, and I watched a couple other weird series, but you know, you'll see all that the first week of What the Fuck Over. Maybe I'll, I'll become more of a popular person through it, because, like, with the Poppy Performer video, man, man. I wasn't expecting to be on Know Your Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that tweet. That was like the randomest shit. Cause like, I remember, I'm like, okay, because I, I wanted to make a proper review for the series. Because, like, you know, if you guys don't know, when I make the What the Fuck videos, to make them more entertaining, I kind of exaggerate certain things. <laughs> but, like, I did I, I did enjoy the series. It's weird as fuck, but, like, I, I practically marathon the whole thing, which is easy to do. It's like 30 episodes of, like, three minute shorts. So I, I wanted to properly talk about it, and then um, as I was doing some like research about it, because I just really wanted to know more about how the series came to be, I came across the Know Your Meme page. I'm like, okay, when did this become such a cult? And I couldn't really find that, but like I found uh, a, like they mentioned me. Because like I was scrolling down and I saw a thumbnail. I'm like, wait, that seems really familiar. <laughs> and then I, I scroll up on like the summary. Next to the picture, it's like, yeah, on, on this day, Mr. Falcon Punch, 992. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> I just like Which the opening sense. Which explains why that video became so popular. Because, you know, it was all on that website. Yeah. Well, I like the opening, on this day, <laughs> the great Mr. Falcon Punch, 996, dedicated time of his life to create Poppy, the performer, what the fuck's over. Yeah, not only that, I made like two videos on it. <laughs> and there's just one too. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a third one pretty soon, oh. like two weeks or a week. Oh. Yeah, me yeah, and I, I have take a couple other videos I need to wrap up and do before I I still gotta finish my One Piece marathon. I gotta make a video about summer anime, which I don't know if I might skip, but I don't know. And then the Kaneko Man. I did my One Piece AMV, which, you know, all, all my comments on the AMV were like, oh my gosh, this is like the best video ever, but I only have like nine likes on it. I'm like, oh. Right. Well, that's just how YouTube is. The likes never are equal to the views. They never are. I, I, I practically spent, like, if I actually calculated my time, that, that looks like 10 hours to make. I have an AMV that I haven't finished in maybe two or three years because I haven't <laughs> finished it. It took gone me back 10 to hours it. to make, man, and I only got, like, <laughs> nine likes. It's like, it's like, I feel like I got cut, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cut the AMV. Oh, no. But yeah, so if you if you're watching, I I I I made a an AMV for One Piece with the the Mario Odyssey theme song. So yeah, because I thought it fit. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, the thing is, a lot of other people like like I got a lot of other comments like, hey, I do AMVs too. Uh, check oh yeah, out yeah, my yeah, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, that's like, what happened to. Yeah, that's what happened to me recently when I did the, um, what was the last thing? I I know I did something not too long ago that was, uh, AMB related, or, or maybe I'm misremembering. 
Fuck, I'm pretty sure I did something. Hold on, let me let me let me take a look back. Well, you did that one Sonic game, the like hero one. I think for like the. Oh yeah, there we go. That, that, that's the one that. Yeah, because I notice whenever you make an AMV, you get comments like that also about like, "Hey, sub to me, watch my channel." That type of shit. So if you if you put your video tags AMV, you got people that are constantly searching. For yeah, yeah, yeah. AMVs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because like that's what one of the comments like literally said to me. They're like, "Oh, you know, I'm constantly checking YouTube for new AMVs." And this is fantastic. Yeah, but I'm since like you say that now, like, I don't know. <laughs> Do you mean it? Don't lie to me. I mean, one of them wrote me, like, a really big comment. On top of that, not only did he just make his own comment, he actually stayed on the video. There was this one person that, like, oh, this fits really well. And he's like, yeah, it does. So I'm like, okay, maybe his comment's a bit more legit. So I'm like, he just posted his <laughs> comment and left. He actually replied to a couple other comments. Mm. But I don't know, I still need to go on this person's channel and just, like, look. You see, I always get nervous when people ask me that because I'm like, I'm not a pro YouTuber. Like, you know, just, like when you, I review my work, I'm like, I just, I'm probably in the same boat as you, man. I just, maybe with, with more subscribers, but like, did he know how long it took me to get here? There's, there's faster methods. Uh, I just basically replayed all of a Spyro. So, I don't know, I might as well do that. And then, earlier that year, I also replayed all of a, well, not all of Ratchet and Clank, but I did the original trilogy and then played the new one. Mm. There's still the future trilogy, which, I don't know, I might do that sometime in the future. Get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, puns. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean that one to be a pun anyway. <laughs> I'm losing my voice here, I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with my voice, but I guess I should call it a stop recording already but uh, oh yeah the next podcast will probably be a Kenny command related one might as well yeah because I'll be like in time for Kenny command day actually when exactly is because I know it's the 29th oh right. it's Friday it's always oh, a, it remember uh, duh yeah, it's it's on, a... it will be on Kenny command day <laughs> at least for me uh, yeah let's see if I can get that done by then yeah, so any last words before I stop recording? <laughs> oh, shit, my throat. <laughs> okay, I guess goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I'll end it now. <clears throat>